Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. Today, we are inside. Pretty much all of our day today was spent outside. Now, second, well, going on third night now in a row, we're experiencing frost here on the homestead, guys. So one other thing before we get into the video, um, if you still have produce or food outside that is uh, the frost will damage, go ahead and take care of them because the frost is up on us. All right, so all day pretty much we have been spending uh, harvesting, preparing, prepping different things. And so um, we had to go ahead, uh, first we talk about the pumpkins back here. We had to go ahead and harvest all of our pumpkins, guys. Um, the frost that we did experience was a light frost. It was not like it's a bad frost where that it damaged our pumpkins. And so um, we made that decision to go ahead and harvest all of them out, um, leaving some of the stem on, um, or leaving some of the vine on the stem uh, simply because a lot of them was not fully uh, ripened. And so with that stem being left on there, um, it's, it's kind of, well, slow, slowly ripened over a period of time. And so some of these here in the back is the ones them that is fit are more so ripened. And we want those to go ahead and cure so that way, as far as storage, we can have them store up to six months to eight, uh, eight months um, over the course of time. All right. And so... That right there is our pumpkin harvest. That is not all of them. We still have more pumpkins uh, mm -hmm. that we harvest that has already been cured uh, over the time that we harvest them outside. And so even with these pumpkins, we have made the decision that we will store them on the inside, guys. Um, not something that I really want to do, uh, but I had to call the shots on that simple reason why last year we did have quite a bit of them um, that you know store pretty well but we had a lot of them that uh, spoiled simple reason why we stored them outside where the temperature was fluctuating uh, between 32 degrees anywhere from 40 degrees 50 degrees and we want them right at that 50 degree to 60 degree mark uh, for storage uh, they store a whole lot better that way and so with the temperature dropping down into 32, that's pretty much a freezing temperature, and that caused a lot of our pumpkins to spoil, and so this year we don't want to run into that problem there, guys. And so that is why we made a decision to keep them on the inside. Now, this will not be their permanent spot um, because we had to harvest all of them, and we want them to kind of go ahead and cure right here, and then we will put them away for storage. Okay, um, that move us over here to our beans. Um, if you all remember, we did plant a whole lot of rattlesnake pole beans at the bottom garden, also at the top garden. And so we have been picking beans. Um, all summer long. All summer long, yes. Not just today. This is just uh, <laughs> the, the last of the crop mm -hmm. that we just went ahead and pulled um, green beans and well, dry beans and also beans that are pretty much um, pretty fit. And so what we're going to do, we're going to shell all these out and these we can put inside of the freezer uh, to use um, at a later date. As and fresh so, beans? As fresh beans, yes. And so we also have some dry beans uh, mm -hmm. that we will shell out, put them inside of a jar uh, for proper storage guys. And those okay. are five gallon buckets? These are five gallon buckets. This one is uh, I believe three and a half gallon. Four gallon. Or uh, four gallon buckets. And that one right there and also a pan that is mm -hmm. is full. <laughs> so like I said, we spent a lot of our days and here we still, we have uh, scotch bonnet peppers. Mm -hmm. We still actually have some bell peppers down there. We'll talk a little bit more about the scotch bonnet, but we still have some more bell peppers down there inside of the garden that we have to go ahead and harvest. I'm hoping they don't get frostbite um, tonight. Okay, well, so if they get frostbite tonight, they're gonna get dehydrator bite tomorrow. Well, yes, or you still can chop them up and yeah. put them in the freezer 
um, we can use those at a later date. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so the Scotch Barnet Peppers, um, that is going to be it right there uh, for the season with the Scotch Barnet Peppers. Frost is on us, a lot of the plants is uh, withering back, the leaves burning, dying back, and so uh, that is it. These right here, uh, we're gonna go ahead, pull the stems, throw them in the dehydrator, and also put some inside of the freezer. Um, for a couple of the stores out there that I promised that I will freeze some for them. And so that is what we're going to do with these Scotch Barnet, but guess what? There is still quite a bit more out there on the plants. And so tomorrow I'm, after going, I'm going to have to pick those off as well, guys. And yes, and so right here we also have some, some uh, uh, cow peas mm -hmm. right here in this pan right here. Some that we have already shelled Start out. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we have just been going through them um, to just, hey, get them ready to put away for storage. Mm -hmm. And right here is our roselle that we harvest. And um, hey, that is it right there. So we still have a little bit more outside that we have to get. But guys, the roselle, the ones up here at the top garden, um, I believe next year I'm going to do them a bit different. I probably won't even plant them in that spot next year. But what happened with those ones up, up top, they end up dying on us. Um, what I should have did on my drip system was put a shutoff valve to where that I can control the water for those roselle because they don't like um, wet feet. And so we end up losing quite a bit of those ones up top. All right, okay, and so hey, that right there is uh, some more purple, these are purple whole peas, mm -hmm. and over here is some motherland okra. Okay, and so this is just a, a, a small bit of the harvest that we uh, did here on the homestead this year. Now, there was a lot more stuff that we're planning. You talking about this year? This is from just well, well, today, just today, yes, this yeah. is just from today, yes. So thanks for the correction, baby. But nonetheless, um, it's other stuff that we harvest throughout the mm -hmm. throughout the uh, the, the spring, mm -hmm. summer, and even in the fall now. But you know, before I even get any further into this video here, I just have to stop, and I just want to give all the praise, the glory, and the honor to our Father, the Most High, because guys. He has definitely blessed, blessed the garden this year because it just, it bears, it bears and it bears. And so I have to give him thanks. Um, you're planting a garden, you're doing a garden, guys, pray over your garden. Pray that the most I can come in and have the stuff to grow and, and just grow. And that is what it did here. And so I am thankful for that. Y'all know I'm, I'm always thankful, always thankful. And so I just want to, you know, keep putting it out there publicly to the most side so he can know that I am thankful. Okay? And so, guys, uh, that is it right there. Mm -hmm. um, the work doesn't stop here now. Hello. Because guess what? We have to get these beans out Hello. of uh, the pods. And so with the dryer beans, that is a bit easier for me because uh, I can just put these inside of a bag and I can just crush them, crumble them up and all the dry beans, they will fall out. Um, so just like that right there, if you see how they fall out. So that is what we will do with these so that will be real quick and easy for us. Okay. And so guys, that is it right there. Um, hey, a great, great growing season this year and next year i want you all to get on outside and get in the dirt and plant your own food guys all right and so i just want to say peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there have a blessed day real quick remember keep a smile on your face be happy be cheerful and just be blessed all right have a blessed day guys